All right, and welcome back. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a dual cobblestone generator. Um, produces obviously twice as fast as the single. The only real difference in this one is um, a little bit complicated, more complicated wiring. And then um, you're also going to need two obsidian. You can do this in survival mode without after um, without needing a diamond pick. Also, we'll get into that in just a moment. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. If you haven't watched uh, the first video, I suggest going back and watching this single generator video. You can find that in uh, my channel, or uh, I'm going to also post a link on it at the bottom of the page. All right, so first what we're going to do is go ahead and make um, a single generator, but instead of turning it um, horizontal, we're going to go and rotate it back up vertically. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to take and just build it in the same manner. Um, and I'm just using... Uh, creative mode just to, just to make it so it's just a little bit easier on each one of these videos to do okay so you're gonna mirror the one to the left um, you're gonna leave a space of two between it okay so that's actually kind of important um, so let's just build this one up real quick okay and then we're gonna go and just build the center gotta cut that out okay so here we go here so we have the first hopper set like we're gonna build a single but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we got one and two spaces so then here we're going to start up our third one or excuse me on our on the third blocks building the same kind of hoppers we got on our left um, another single hopper okay so now we got two single hoppers and instead of actually facing out they're facing towards each other that's perfect so then we're going to go and grab our piston and set one on each side like I said again if you haven't watched the uh, yeah, tutorial on how to do the first one, you might want to go back and watch that um, so that you can get an idea of what we're doing. Now here's the biggest difference. Um, when it comes to the hopper here, instead of just leaving your piston out like this, what you're going to actually need to do is grab some obsidian and drop that in. Now obsidian, um, you can either mine it with a diamond pick and place it, or another method to use, which is you know very viable and easy without a diamond pick, is by taking glass or any other material, blocking this in, um, and then using lava and water to create an obsidian block. So the way you can do this is take um, a lava seed, drop it in the bottom, and then take water and then hit it on, whoops, excuse me, hit it right there and then drop it right here. So then it creates an obsidian block. Um, like I said, so you don't actually need a diamond pick for that. Um, so you can do that without it. Um, so you don't have to mine it and grab it. So there you go. You can do it that way also. Just wanted to give you kind of heads up on that one. Um, but for you know general purposes, I'm just going to use an obsidian uh, block for that one. Alternatively, you can actually use a standard block and a furnace on the end of it, placing redstone wire on top to create the same effect a obsidian block uh, um, creates. So you don't have to technically even get obsidian. Okay. So now let's go back to our wiring. The wiring is very similar to the. Uh, to the first one there um, that I showed you how to use a single, but there are just a couple little differences. Um, first off, we need two repeaters behind our now um, what I call center pushers or second pushers, and they're both going to be set to three delay. Okay, then for our timer, um, what we're going to do is going to replace four of them long. Oops, before I get this wrong here, we're going to place four of them long. And then we're going to go and set each one of these up to four. Now it can be sped up. Uh, the biggest thing is it kind of depends on how long it takes for the cobblestone to be generated. The method is we used in the first generator. If I can get it right here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so then we're going to go and set up our switch and breaker. Okay, so then we're going to take our lever to go and activate our breaker switch. We're going to take our redstone now. Here's our real difference um, between the two. Zero redstone needs to come up and it needs to hit your obsidian block so it can activate that switch. And then we're going to take it all the way across. Now depending on exactly where your switch is placed, you actually might need to put a repeater in. 
um, on this far side, <laughs> depending on where your wires do connect to. But all right, so then we're good to go there. And again, like I said, I prefer usually to go and uh, activate the system before actually putting in any um, water or lava. But now that we've got everything set up, we're going to press this guy and make sure our circuit works here. Goes on through, comes back around. And then if you check your pistons out, um, first activates the outside and then the centers. So what that'll do is after the cobblestone is generated, pushes it to the center and then your middle two push it out. So let's go ahead and test it out and make sure it all works. Pour some lava in the back too. And then we're going to pour it in the front too. Our cobblestone being generated. Pushes them in. And then pushes it out. So there you go. So basically that'll continue to function until it produces up to 15 long. And the reason you need the obsidian, <coughs> excuse me, is because uh, the pistons, once you get up to 15, will actually push each other out. The obsidian is an immovable block with the uh, current Minecraft 1.0 programming. So it actually stops it from pushing them out. And there you go, there's your double produced cobblestone generator. Um, again, the reason we're doing it this way, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, but the reason we're doing it this way is it's super simple. Um, anybody can make it. So there you go, she stops. So then the second we decide to start mining in on this guy, and there you go, it starts reproducing until it gets 15 long and then stops again. Again, to shirt off just like uh, the single produce, toss it and kills your circuit, and just good. Thanks for watching. Um, up next will be the quad, how to produce four at once and uh, get it all going. All right, thank you so much. We'll uh, check you later.